G'day guys, Andy Thomas here from Wolf on the Run, long time no see. I've been absolutely stoked out, inundated with work. I haven't had a chance to make a video. I've been working weekends, night times, paperwork, you name it. But yeah, I've got five minutes to myself. I've, I've even broke my glasses and had to put sticky tape on there. I've not got even time to go and get my new pair of glasses. Um, but I've got time to fit some new foot pegs. All right guys, as you can see, the, the standard foot pegs I've had on for a while, they've, they've been pretty good, um, but I thought I'd upgrade after a great tip from um, Steve from Big Bike Adventures. Thank you very much mate, I never realised that um, they were out there. Um, obviously the Africa Twin being a new, a newish bike, they, the aftermarket parts, they just bang their price up mate and try and get you to pay extra. But Steve come up with this great idea. He told me that the XR650R Honda between 2000 and 2007 models, the pegs for them were exactly the same mountings um, as the ones on the Africa Twin. So we've got these, um, which are the ones for the XR650, and they're like $35. The ones for the, the Africa Twin, they're talking $200. So you can see the difference there. These are metal, not aluminium. There's a fair bit of weight in them. But look at the difference in the size, they're just absolutely beautiful size, perfect, and we're going to install them. Okay guys, so as you can see there's like a split pin down here, we have to straighten that out and pull that out. Um, there's a spring tension in there that we've got to make sure that we don't lose and doesn't fly off anywhere when we pull that pin out. And then I think it's just going to be a straightforward swap putting those in, put the pin back in and the cotter pin back in. Alright, so I'll get you on the tripod and we'll take that apart. So first off we've got to obviously straighten that pin out to pull it out. that here goes just a small split pin we'll see if we can utilize this if not I've got some new ones that we can put back in so my concern is oh, that's a little washer my concern is this spring loaded is it under tension we will find out no nah, it's not too bad at all here you go as simple as that So we transfer that into there. There's a little bit of pressure on that spring. But not loads. I keep missing that. It's got to go that way, it's got to catch on that lip. So what I'm trying to do is, as you can see I've got to sit that on there to get that in there and obviously the pressure is pushing me out. There we go, I'm in. That's it guys. How simple is that? He says. The only grief I've got, look, is that pin is now not long enough with the washer. I can't get the hole. have to have a look at that come back to you 
All right, guys. So what I've done is up these little pegs here on this one were a little bit further apart than the old ones, so I just squashed them a little bit in the vise just to close it in a bit, which has given me a bit more length on the peg so I can get this cotter pin in. So I'll put the spring back. Like so. Put that on the washer and hopefully that pin should go back in. As you can see guys, it's a little bit a little bit tighter than the originals. But I will get there. Steve, you told me to fit it, mate. Come on. <laughs> I've got the pin halfway in, but I just can't seem to get enough play to bring it out the other side. I might swap the pin for a new one. Alright guys, so I've got a new pin nice and straight. So let's see how we'll go now. Oh, look at that. Perfection. Just I think that pin was a little bit worn, bent flattened, might even been a little bit thicker than this one is, but I think we're good, just bend that out, bend that one out, there we go, they are a little bit tighter, they're not dropping back down, but I need to move them out the way, they come out the way, but there we go guys, that's simple, and as I say, look at the difference in the foot area. It's it's as wide that way as it is that way, I reckon, near enough. So what I'll do is I'll I'll measure it out and have a look. But there we go, simple as. I'm going to do the other side. Whether you want to follow me or not, I'll speed it up so you don't get bored. This one's a little bit too tight, so I've got to open this one up, the other one I had to close, this one I've got to open up, I'll come back to you. Alright guys, it seems I picked the wrong side to slow down and show you. Um, this side here is the aluminium peg that um, they do a, an aftermarket plate that supports that peg because it's been known to break. And it looks like that I've actually caught it somewhere, might have been when I've dropped the bike or something. But I've just had to file some, like a big dink and dent out of it. So I've still got a bit of a lump there, which made this really tight to go on. So I'm just trying to get that lump out. So I don't know whether I've bent it slightly or... But yeah, this is known for a weak spot on the Africa Twin, as I say. Um, it's Camel, Camel ADV of Canada. They do a plate that goes on. You've got to take all your exhaust stuff and everything, but they do an actual support plate that holds this up because, as I say, it's been known to break. Um, I might look into one. I've looked at them whether to try and fabricate one myself, but it just seems a hell of a lot of work, so I'm not going to bother. Um, I'll put this other peg on. I'll carry on sand, um, filing this down and put the peg on, the other foot peg. And, um, yeah, see so how we go.
it's a lot better fit now it just would not go on earlier all right I'll carry on putting it together as I say guys I thought it was just gonna be a easy straightforward swap over but you know sometimes these things come to try you that's got to go in there I believe that way around maybe not that way trying to do it like that but it's not going to work was that like there or was it like there Still quite tight guys. There we go. Pin. Yeah, it's a little bit tight against the spring actually I think. I don't know, it's wearing. So I've took that lump off and that dent off. It looks pretty straight and plumb. Um, and flat to where it was but yeah I must have caught something and did a bit of a dink there I put a little bit of grease on it just to help it slide for now but yeah it's going alright now so it won't move out the way beautiful let's get that pin in I don't know if my fingers and thumbs are all in the way, but all I'm doing is putting that split pin into the hole. As I say, because the metal's a little bit thicker than the original ones, the pin is a little bit tight. But we get in there. Come on. It's like it needs to be further in, but I can't put it further in because that'll be too tight and we won't get the movement. But it's a fair struggle, but as uh, Steve says, these are $30, $35. I got them off eBay from Jack Bikes. Um, and the Africa Twin ones are $200. Yeah, you get, you get the pivot pegs which are a bit better, they actually tilt that way as well so when you're braking and change your gear I think they had about 2 240, 250 and I think that includes postage but um, I thought well, we'll try these as I say for $30, we'll try them there you go, that's bent over, that's done job done guys, I had to get on the floor bloody hell but as you can see they're a massive difference so there you go guys, that's that's those new jack pegs. I've took the rubber off the original one, just so you can see the comparison. Um, and it's like mommy bear, daddy bear and baby bear. Um, let's get a ruler. The original ones, if you've still got them on your bike, that's what, 30, 35, 37 mil by say 65. And that one's 50, 50 mil by, 85 so there's a fair comparison um, and when you're standing up obviously you want as much spread over your foot as possible um, as I say I didn't have too much trouble with these but I thought I would try these and we'll see how they go all right guys so there you go um, from Jack Bikes um, Jack Bikes Bears Everton Park Queensland uh, $34 including postage they are the Honda XR 650R 2000 to 2007 7, GBS steel foot peg set, left right pair, foot pegs rest. 
There you go, mate. Dead easy, dead simple. Like I say, a little bit of messing around, but we got them on. And you know what? We saved, what, $170. Fantastic. Thanks for watching, guys.